First up, and a man has been questioned over alleged corrupt payments at Jewel. Gardaí questioned the man as part of a probe of supposed corrupt practices of up to a half a million euro. Next up, Anna Limerick Hospital sets new records. UHL is by far the most overcrowded hospital in Ireland with 15,322 patients left waiting on trolleys in the first 10 months of the year. Clarion called for Limerick to join cost of living protest. The cost of living protest will start at 2pm on November 12th at City Hall. United Ireland is a major issue for Sinn Féin in Limerick. That's according to Limerick Sinn Féin TD Morris Quinlevin, who said that Irish unity was the underlying issue at the party's annual conference last weekend. A new 11.5 million euro Aldi is set to create 30 jobs. The shop, which will be based in Doradoyle, will also hire at least 50 construction workers due for opening in 2024. On to sport in Ireland are back in action this weekend. They take on Fiji in the Viva Stadium on Saturday at 1pm and are without an injured Conor Murray. Newcastle West have retained the senior football title. They beat rivals Adair 1-11 to 2-5 following an extra time final thriller. On to entertainment news and Thomas Zetemar takes the Irish Chamber Orchestra on an extraordinary musical journey. He has boundless energy and vigour for music and continues to champion the magic of Mozart at the University Concert Hall on December 1st. The Lime Tree Theatre's Panto is back. Run from December 9th to January 8th. Tickets from limetreetheatre.ie. For these stories and so much more, you can pick up the Limerick Post newspaper in your local news agents right now or read it all online at limerickpost.ie.